We've known about two of them. There was this third unnamed client, which in the last couple of minutes has now been announced out loud to the courtroom as Fox News host Sean Hannity. Here's the new development. Hannity has just addressed this on his radio show within the last couple of minutes. Let's listen. So I've known Michael a long, long time. And let me be very clear to the media. Michael never represented me in any matter I never retained him in the in the traditional sense as retaining a lawyer. Uh, I never received an invoice from Michael. I never paid legal fees to Michael. Uh, but I have occasionally had brief discussions with him about legal questions about which I wanted his input and perspective. And I assume that those conversations were attorney client confidential. Uh, but and the other thing I will I will need to point out to the media that is apparently going insane over this, not one of any issue I ever dealt with Michael Cohn on ever, ever involved a matter between me and any third party. All right. So Daniel Goldman has just uh, been seated. He joins our chorus of smart voices, former federal prosecutor, former assistant U.S. attorney. So here's my question. If this is so, in the words of, you know, Sean Hannity, kind of no big deal, laissez faire. I didn't pay him any money. I called him up for advice. Why were they so funny about disclosing his name? Well, I can understand why they were funny about disclosing his name because he, Hannity probably didn't want to be revealed that he was the client and it's now turning into a whole sideshow circus. But what's interesting about what he said is that he's paid him no money, he has no retainer agreement, he's asked him a few legal questions. When you are have an attorney-client relationship, that is a formalized relationship where the attorney is giving you legal advice about a particular matter. Mm -hmm. He said he never discussed a particular matter with him. So it's one thing if he's just asking him some questions, but for Sean Hannity to be one of three clients of Michael Cohen's, that, uh, that Michael Cohen couldn't even go in and say, you know, he's not, a, he's not a current client. He had to announce to the court that he's a current client. That means that there is an ongoing attorney-client relationship from Michael Cohen's perspective, which would lead me to believe that there is probably more to that relationship than what Sean Hannity is saying. Otherwise, because, he wouldn't have announced it. Because the next thought is, all right, of, of all the lawyers in all of Manhattan, then, why get advice <laughs> from Michael Cohen? Brooke, I reached out to Sean to ask him what he thought about this and if he had any response. He just texted me back. He's on doing his radio show. And he says, and I'm not sure if this is part of what he's already put out, but he said, Michael Cohen has never represented me in any matter. I never retained him, received any invoice, or paid legal fees. I've occasionally had brief discussions with him about legal questions about which I wanted his input and perspective. I assume the conversations were confidential, but to be absolutely clear, they never involved any matter between me and a third party. Okay, so he's we, put that out, but that is, exactly. that is clearly no, what he's No, and out. that's an important point, I think, to hit on. If I can just come back to you, the fact that there wasn't a third party, right, which has been pointed out as part of the MO with some of these clients. And uh, Cohen is that there's a, there's a man, there's an NDA, there's a woman, Daniel. And so the fact that there wasn't a third party tells you what? Well, look, everybody jumps to that point. You know, the other two clients are Donald Trump, for whom Michael Cohen negotiated an NDA with Stormy Daniels, and Elliot Broidy, for whom Michael Cohen uh, negotiated an NDA with a Playboy Playmate. So the obvious and natural uh, assumption that people would jump to is that Michael Cohen negotiated an NDA for Sean Hannity. So by him saying that it had nothing to do with him and a third party, He's trying to get out in front of that and, and quell the rumblings about that as the reason why. Um, but it's, uh, something is not adding up here, that Michael Cohen's lawyers would feel compelled to announce in open court that Sean Hannity Well, it was the judge, if you missed this, right. it was the judge. Initially, they wanted to put his name in an envelope and keep it quiet, and that judge said no, 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 and made them say right, it out loud. The easier thing would have for him to say, I have two clients. The, the point is, is that he feels like he needs to say that Sean Hannity, whether the, he announced his name or not, is an actual ongoing client for Michael Cohen, whereas Sean Hannity is saying he doesn't represent me in any matter. So there's something inconsistent about those can, two. Can, can you hang on? Can you text mm. Sean Hannity back? <laughs> <laughs> and can you ask him, isn't it a conflict of interest when he goes on television every single night talking all about, you know, railing about Trump? 
that he is a, a client of Michael Cohen's. It I'm just it? saying. No, I will, and I, I agree. I, yeah. I think for, if they did have some sort of a client and attorney relationship, I think for the sake of as a, a journalist or a, a person that hosts a prime time to say on a news show, channel, it should be disclosed. But I, tr yeah. I do believe him when he was emphatic with the fact that they haven't uh, exchanged money, there has, isn't a, a, a legal contract. But to your point, why would Michael Cohen go to the point to say this is one of my, my clients? 